Welcome back guys, this is Jimmy Jules 153 with another Dreams Logic video. In today's video we'll be covering the splitter. Now what a splitter basically does is it splits what are called thick wires into their separate signals. All thick wires are is a wire that carries more than one signal. These are indicated when the wire is colourful, just like the one you can see here on the right that's coming out of the controller sensor. I'll be covering the controller sensor a bit later on, but for now all you need to know is that it's detecting the outputs from the DS4 controller and converting them into signals that we can play with. You can see here that when I move the tweak menu by grabbing the page with my trigger, the trigger bar goes up depending on how much I push the trigger down. Now that we've plugged the thick wire from the left stick into the splitter, it's given us two outputs. It's turned into both a left-right and an up-down direction, so now we can get different signals for when the player presses the stick vertically and horizontally, and we can do different things depending on whether they push the stick in a certain way. In Dreams, the signals are very similar to Little Big Planet, in that from the up-down port, you can get a positive 100% signal, which would be the stick being pushed upwards, and a negative 100% signal, which is the stick being pushed all the way down. Also the same as LBP, the right direction is always the positive signal, so if I push the stick all the way to the right, it'll output a positive 100% signal, and all the way to the left would be a negative 100% signal. But let's say you don't want to play around and detect whether the signal is a positive or a negative one, because that requires a lot more work. At the moment, the two vertical and the two horizontal signals are still combined, so we'll duplicate this splitter here like so, and if we grab the left-right output from the splitter and plug that into our duplicated splitter, we'll now get a positive and a negative output, with positive being the right and negative being the left. You would now be able to hook up either output to a mover that moves the character left or right, depending on which direction you're pressing. I used the exact same setup in my Strike Force Color Select screen to split up the direction the player was pressing and tell the colors which way to cycle. I'll be going through this Color Select screen in detail in a later video, but it's important to know what each logic piece does so you can understand what's going on. Splitters don't just work with controllinators, they'll split any thick wire into its individual signals. If we grab the colour of the wall here and plug that into the splitter, you'll see it changes the output ports depending on what we've plugged into it. We've now got a red, green and blue output, with each outputting its own signal depending on what the colour is. To demonstrate this, we'll pull out a few value sliders and we'll plug the red, green and blue outputs one into each of them. If we play with the colour saturation a bit here, you can see the value sliders changing with the colour. If we turn the saturation all the way up and change the colour around a bit, you can see when the colour is red, the value slider that's hooked up to the R port increases. When we move it around to the purple, both the red value slider and the blue value slider turn up because purple is a mix of red and blue. If we open up the tweak menu, you can see the output is set to, and this will change automatically depending on what you've got it plugged into. This, coupled with the combiner, you can manipulate the individual signals in the thick wire and recombine them. If we pull out the combiner here and open up the tweak menu, You can see that it's got a whole heap of different settings, which just tell the combiner what you'll be plugging into it. We'll be using the colour inputs this time, so it'll change the inputs into RGB, just like our splitter. If we plug these outputs from the splitter directly into the corresponding ports on the combiner, and open up the tweak menu for the floor alongside the wall, and plug the output for the combiner into this, you'll see the combiner has turned our individual signals back into a thick wire. At the moment all this is doing is transferring the colour directly to the floor without modifying anything, but if you wanted to, for example, take out all the red from a colour, you could plug in just the blue and green outputs into the combiner, and it wouldn't receive any red signal, therefore taking out all the red colour. I'll just quickly hover over each of the input options for the combiner so you can pause the video and read what each of them does if you're interested. Thank you. 
that's it for today's video guys, I'll see you in the next one.